Windows 11 looks shiny on the surface, but the second you start using it, it's like buying a new car and realizing the dealer stuffed the glove box full of ads, turned on a GPS tracker, and welded the radio to one station, Microsoft's. So today, I'm showing you the first 10 things I disable on every Windows 11 installation. Do this and your PC will be faster, quieter, and a whole lot less creepy. And trust me, number seven is where Microsoft really shows their greed. Number one, disable startup apps. Ah, the hidden resource hog, startup apps. Windows and other programs love to stuff crap in here. Teams, OneDrive, Xbox, half the crap you don't even use. Do yourself a favor. Hit Control Shift Escape to bring up your task manager. And then on the left hand side, click on Startup Apps. This will show you everything that starts automatically when you turn the computer on and log in. Take a good look at the digital mayhem loading every time you start up. Don't need it? Nuke it. Click on it and select Disable in the upper right hand corner. Your PC will boot faster, use less RAM, and you don't end up wondering why Xbox services are running at 7 a.m. on a work laptop. Number 2. Kill Notification and Tips It appears as if Microsoft thinks you're 5 years old, so it constantly spams you with things like, Did you know Windows can blah blah blah? Click on the Start button and go to Settings. In Settings, click on System and then Notifications. See that list of apps? Turn off anything you don't want to be bothered by, or if you don't want notifications at all, toggle them off entirely on the top of the menu. I don't need a pop-up telling me how to use an operating system I've been using since before half the Microsoft development team was even born. Number 3. Shut down background apps. And then there's background apps. Why in the hell does Solitaire need to run in the background? And not only normal apps, but web browsers as well. well. Let's tackle these one at a time. Again, click on your start button and go to settings. This time, click on apps. Under apps, click on installed apps. Unfortunately, there's no easy way to check them all at the same time, but click on the three dots to the right of each app and look for advanced options. Under here, you'll be able to see app permissions and if it's allowed to run in the background. Don't need Candy Crush mining Bitcoin while you sleep? Turn it off and save CPU and RAM. As for web browsers, Chrome-based browsers especially, love to stay running even after you close them. I've never seen a larger memory hog than a modern web browser. In Chrome, click on those three vertical dots in the upper right hand corner and select settings. On the left hand side, click on system. Look for the Continue Running Background apps when Google Chrome is closed and turn it off. That way when you close Chrome, it really closes instead of sucking down your RAM like a toddler with a sippy cup. Number 4. Stop Online Search in the Start Menu Now here's a creepy one that I'm sure Big Brother would love. Every time you search, Microsoft ships it off to Bing. Why? Who knows? But I don't need Bing to try and sell me something every time I'm looking for a file or app on my computer. The quickest and easiest way to turn it off? Hit the Windows button and the letter R. Type in regedit and press enter. You may be prompted with the user account control message. Go ahead and click on yes. This will open the registry editor. Navigate on the left hand side to H key current user, then software, policies, Microsoft, Windows, and click on Explorer. If Explorer doesn't exist, which it won't by default, click on Windows, and then in the right-hand section, right-click and select New and Key. Name the key Explorer. Make sure Explorer is selected on the left-hand side, you know, the new key you just created, and in the right-hand side, right-click and select New DWORD 32-bit value. Name the new entry, Disable Search Box Suggestions without any spaces, and press Enter. Now double click on the new entry and give it a value of 1. The only thing left is to reboot so it becomes active. 
Bear in mind that this is a per user change and if other individuals are logging into the same computer, you'll need to do the same for them as well. You can nuke this setting this way, or if you're running Windows Professional, you can use the group policy editor to do it. But this works on any version. Trust me, it's worth it. Local searches should stay local. Number five, kill widgets, news, and interest. Ah, widgets, also known as Microsoft's excuse to shove MSN news and ads in your face. This is an easy one to fix. Click on your start button and go to settings again. Next, click on personalization and then taskbar. Look for the widget setting and turn it off. Because if I want the news, I'll open a browser. Or if I want the weather, I'll look out the damn window. Number six, reduce telemetry and diagnostics. Now let's talk telemetry. Microsoft loves phoning home more than NASA on a moon mission or ET. Here's another easy fix, thankfully. Click on Start and go to Settings again. From there, click on Privacy and Security, and then Diagnostics and Feedback. Make sure that Send Optional Diagnostic Data is turned off. Also make sure that it's set to Only Send Required Diagnostic Data and nothing more. It still sends data because, of course it does, but it stops Microsoft from building a creepy diary of how often you open Minesweeper. Number seven, disable ads in Explorer and the lock screen. Okay, this one makes my blood boil. Ads in Windows. File Explorer ads? Yep. OneDrive promos in your face? Why not? Do yourself a favor. Go to the File Explorer and click on Options, then View. Then scroll down on the list until you see Show Sync Provider Notifications and clear the checkbox. While you're at it, let's kill the fun facts and tips, which are neither fun nor helpful for the most part. Hit the Windows button and the letter R. Type in regedit and press Enter. You may be prompted with a user account control message. Go ahead and click on Yes. This time we're going to navigate to HKEY Current User, Software, Microsoft, Windows, Current Version, Content Delivery Manager. This time you want to make two new entries. Right click in the right hand side and select New, then DWORD 32 bit. Give it the name Rotating Lock Screen Enable, no spaces of course, and press Enter. Now double click on it and make sure the value is set to zero. Next, make a second entry exactly the same way and call this one Rotating Lock Screen Overlay Enable also with no spaces, and press Enter. Double click on this one and make sure it's also set to zero as well. Once these are created, close the registry editor and log out and back into the machine for these changes to take effect. That kills Windows Spotlight. No more tips, ads, or fun facts about things you don't care about on the lock screen. My lock screen is in Times Square and I don't need to see a OneDrive ad when all I wanted to do was to check the damn clock. Number eight, Cortana. Remember Cortana? Neither does Microsoft. Or better yet, now we have its big brother, Copilot. Either way, you're going to want to go into settings again. Yep, that's right, the old click on the start button and settings. Next, go to apps and then installed apps. See Cortana or Copilot? Remove them. They're basically clippy with spyware. No thank you. Number nine, kill activity history and timeline. Here's another sneaky one, activity history. Believe it or not, Windows actually tracks the apps and files you use and shares that across devices. I know, who needs an angry spouse snooping around your computer when Microsoft does it automatically, right? Get into settings again, but this time we have several things to turn off in different places and clean up. Click on Privacy and Security, then Diagnostic and Feedback. Scroll down and click on Delete Diagnostic Data. This clears what's already been sent to Microsoft. Next, go back to Privacy and Security and look for Search Permissions. Under Cloud Content Search, turn off both Microsoft Account and Worker School Account. This will stop searches and files and activities from syncing to the cloud. And third, back to privacy and security, 
This time, click on inking and typing personalization. In here, turn it off. Then go back to privacy and security and do the same thing under speech. I don't need Windows writing a diary of my bad computing habits. If I wanted shame, I'll check my Amazon order history. Number 10. Stop auto reboots after updates. And finally, the one that has ruined more mornings than a coffee shortage. Auto reboot after updates. Yep, you've guessed it. We're going back into the settings again. This time, go to Windows Update and then click on Advanced Options. Under here, you're going to want to turn on Notify Me when a restart is required to finish updating. Because nothing says productive day like finding out Windows rebooted at 2 a.m., killed your open documents, and left you with a thanks for updating message. And that's the first 10 things I disable on every Windows 11 install. Less spyware, less ads, faster boot times, and fewer headaches. Did I miss one of your favorites? Drop it in the comments. I might steal it for a part two. And if this video helped you, hit subscribe because you never know what those geniuses in Redmond might have coming next. And remember, my friends, back up your crap, keep your machines patched, and as always, stay grumpy.